Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a uh, quarantine vlog. I am currently in the middle of filming two other YouTube videos. Finished one, gonna film the other one. Just thought that I would start this vlog now because I have been like filming little clips for the past one or two days of just like random things that I've been doing during quarantine. I just never filmed an intro and haven't really been filming my face or talking because I haven't felt like talking to a camera for the past few days. Also, time means nothing in quarantine. Like, <laughs> I swear I blinked and it's been a week and I don't know where any time has gone. I actually have a funny story that's probably gonna relate to the title of this vlog. They go down here now, right? Titles go down here when you're on the view page. So. Let's just go into my kitchen right here so I can tell the story. It's so gloomy today. Like the window's open and it's just dark. A couple of days ago, Sergio was about to go out for his run. And as he's heading out the door, he found a package from Bed Bath & Beyond and it was addressed to him. And I was like, that's weird. I haven't bought anything at Bed Bath & Beyond. Open it up. So he opens it and it's this KitchenAid attachment. And we're like, what is going on? Why did we get a uh, KitchenAid attachment in the mail? On the back, we see that it's from his mom and we're like, oh, maybe she like ordered that for herself and like somehow accidentally shipped it all the way here to us, to him, I don't know. So we didn't say anything at first and we just were like trying to figure out why on earth we got this KitchenAid attachment. So we didn't say anything for a few hours. We're trying to figure out why we got this. Finally, he texts her, he's like, hey, um, we got this and she's like, Oh yeah, that's so funny, like that came before the rest of your present. Did she get us a KitchenAid attachment and not know that we don't have a KitchenAid? Part of this, the little like gift receipt said, like your Christmas present, we're like, does she know that it's April? Did she order this like in December and it just came now? But no, we can see that she ordered it like this week. Okay, so she tells us that she got us like a KitchenAid and has like less attachments and I'm very confused. I'm like, what do you mean it has less attachments? Like. KitchenAids come with a certain amount. I don't know. She's like, it didn't come with a bowl. And we're like, what? Uh, okay, I'll get a bowl, that's fine. At this point, Sergio and I are placing bets on it being red because his mom's like favorite color for like kitchen appliances is red and mine would be like that color right there. So we're like betting that it's gonna be red and I'm telling him like, hey, like if it's red, I'm gonna exchange it. Like, I'm not having a red appliance in my kitchen. Like, I know it sounds stupid and snobby and like, be appreciative of the gift that you're getting and like, totally super appreciate it. Wasn't expecting to get a KitchenAid at all. I was planning on getting myself one when we finally move out to our own house. So like, in a few months or so, I was expecting to have a KitchenAid, but not now. So I'm warning him, I'm like, if it's red, it's getting exchanged and he's like, no, I get it. I know you don't like red and I know that you prefer that color. So you would totally get a KitchenAid that color. We literally like bet like 10 bucks each that we're both right, that it's gonna be red. We're like 99% sure that it's red. So the next day comes and we get this. And when I first open it, first of all, I'm like, this is too small to be a KitchenAid because I have bought my mom the KitchenAid for Christmas like two or three years ago. And I know that this is too small and I knew that the box was too light. So I was like, oh, maybe because it didn't come with a bowl, whatever she meant by that. We get this. This is what we got her for Christmas this year. We got her this uh, food processor with dicing kit. And we were like, wait a second. Did she think that it was like cheaper because she saw like a KitchenAid on the side? Did she not recognize that this is the thing that we got her? Did she like it so much that she thought that like we needed it? Like, did she think that we needed this attachment for our KitchenAid that we have, which we don't, and she thought it was such a good gift that she got it for us too? Or did she think that like the KitchenAid was cheap because it didn't have a bowl? We're going through all of the things and we're like, ah, oh, but she saw red. <laughs> And we don't know how to say anything yet. And like, we're just like, you know, we're just like drumming our fingers like, oh God, really appreciate it. But now we need to buy ourselves a KitchenAid. So he texts her again and she's like, oh, haha, ha, that's so funny. Like they're all coming out of order. Your KitchenAid is coming tomorrow. Guys, why did, uh, so appreciative. Wasn't expecting this gift at all, especially during these crazy times, which I'm not gonna mention what's going on because apparently you get demonetized if you mention why we're all stuck inside and doing nothing with our lives and just baking cookies. Okay, so next day comes along. Nothing comes. Another day 
And finally, guys, we got our KitchenAid. And surprisingly, we were both wrong. I had lots of people invested in the story. Like I had uh, Jennifer and Sherry and my mom were all like, it's gonna be red. You're gonna have to exchange it because it's gonna be red. She definitely got you red because red. Very happy to report that we were all wrong. Oh, you guys can't really see it, but there she is. She literally got us the KitchenAid that I would have gotten almost. Like it's the, it's the fancy, the like, artisan collection one it has the pretty here hold on i'm just gonna you guys need to see it so what she meant by ooh, you get the lighting what she meant by it doesn't have a bowl is that it doesn't have the like stainless steel bowl it does have ugh, this lighting is horrendous right now i'm sorry i'm not doing her justice it does have the beautiful ceramic bowl and as you guys may notice it is not red it is white it is like a limited edition artisan collection one and it's almost the exact one that i would have gotten myself i'm obviously keeping it because we already like used it i made cookies with it mm. the one that i was looking at it's like the 100 year anniversary one and it's literally this one just in like a dusty kind of like almost tiffany blue and even though if i had gotten my own KitchenAid, i would have gotten like that bluey green dusty one that's she's beautiful I might just have to have two KitchenAids because it's just so pretty. And it came with like extra attachments, like just because it didn't come with a stainless steel bowl, it's still beautiful. <laughs> and I can get the stainless steel bowl myself. But this one will match like any house, any kitchen. Like if I'm limiting myself to like the bluey green for like a whole appliance, I feel like that's just like kind of scary because like what if my kitchen just doesn't match the appliance and like I'm not gonna get a whole kitchen to match one appliance. So the fact that this one is white is very neutral and we're very happy that it wasn't red. And I am so happy to have a KitchenAid, oh my God. So I used it for the first time two days ago, three days ago. I don't know what day it is anymore, but I baked cookies. I baked these like lemon sugar cookies and I'll insert myself doing the thing here. I would leave the recipe that I used for you guys, but like the recipe I was following when I first made it, it looked like frosting, not cookie batter. So I ended up like modifying it like crazy and I don't really know what I did and I'll probably never be able to make those cookies again, but they're delicious, just not a good recipe. So I don't recommend using it, but yeah. So that's like the really summed up version of the saga. I am super grateful, super thankful, and I love it so much. But yeah, other than this fun little story, I've just been playing a lot of Animal Crossing and going on a lot of runs. I haven't really vlogged my workouts, I don't think, because it's just like going outside for a run. I was doing Insanity for the first like three weeks of self-isolation. I got tired of having Shanti yell at me. I might start it up again this week because it's supposed to rain for the next few days and I don't like running in the rain, so. That might be my workouts. I miss the gym. I miss the gym so much. But I've been running a lot. I've been working on my tan. I actually have like an ill sports bra tan line and I got like a sunburn a few days ago. It's April. <laughs> really trying to combat these cookies I keep baking. I bake cookies, I've baked cupcakes, I've baked a pie. Stress baking, I don't know, boredom baking. All right, I just finished my Princess Polly haul. If you guys haven't seen it, it's probably already up on my channel. You can go view it right over here or go search on my channel for it so thank you guys so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it make sure you leave it a nice big thumbs up for me like i said comment down below what color KitchenAid do you or would you have or just you know let me know how you guys have been doing in a uh, quarantine hopefully this ends soon i miss the gym i miss my like two whole friends that i have here i'd love to keep up with you guys across all of my social media platforms i always have links to them all in the description box down below and of course if you're not already subscribed to this channel you totally should i post new videos two or three times a week. So hit that subscribe button and then maybe hit that little post notification bell so that you're notified when I post new videos because time is a social construct and I have given up on knowing, I, I, like what day of the week is it? I think it's Sunday. I don't even know. 
So hit that post notification bell so you're notified when I post new videos and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.